Hey friends, I'm Glenn Thomas, and in this video, I want to show you uh, internal routing to get your audio from Ableton Live to OBS for streaming to YouTube. One of my subscribers, David Nazem, apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, asked me about how to get sounds from Ableton out to OBS or other different types of software to be able to stream to YouTube, to Twitch, whatever you're streaming to. So I thought we'd dive into that today. I'll show you one way to do it with uh, Audinate's Dante Via software. This is some super solid software. Uh, Audinate are the creators of the uh, the audio over IP protocol called Dante. And so this is a super powerful program that gives you some really cool uh, abilities and it is cross-platform. So you can use it on Mac, you can use it on Windows. Uh, I'm gonna show you on Mac today, but all this should apply to Windows and uh, let's dive into it. All right, so now you can see uh, we've got this thing. This is the, the little riff we were working on uh, last night, in fact. Uh, on the live stream. So let's just listen to that real quick. Right, so there's that. Okay, so we've got this set up now. Um, we've got some audio, and now we've decided we want to get this out uh, to the internet for the live streaming using uh, OBS. OBS is Open Broadcaster Software. It's a free open source project. Um, I think it is obsproject.com, but you may want to Google that just to be sure. Um, I've also got Reaper open here, not doing anything with that, but let's just jump in here. So Dante Via, what does this allow us to do? This allows us to take our different audio sources, be it local audio devices, such as my Fireface UFX, or if it's your MacBook Pro microphone, uh, Soundflower devices, which that's a whole different uh, topic in and of itself. But it also allows you to capture audio from applications that are running on your computer. So in this case, we've got live running, we've got OBS running. Um, and what we can do is we can set up a virtual sound card. So you'll see over here in the audio destinations, you've got local audio destinations. So these are like physical outputs. So the outputs for my Fireface, the speakers, again, the Soundflower stuff, um, a display port, right? Because you can pass audio over HDMI. All of these things are destinations. But then down here, we also has, have local Dante via sound cards. What does this mean? This means you can build your own sound output device. And so in this in this case, what we've got is two different versions. You got the 16 channel version for doing some multi-track type stuff. Or if you just wanna do, like in this case, uh, what David wanted to do was a simple stream out of Ableton. It's as simple as taking your audio source that you wanna take, be it you know something from here or something from your local applications, drag it down here, we add that. Now, this input is receiving the output from live, right? Now, just to be sure that that's all working correctly, I always like to go in in Ableton as well, go to the configuration here, make sure that the Fireface is set for my input so that I can input my mic. As you can see right here, input 17 is coming from the Fireface. That's my mic here. But then I have my output set to Dante via stereo. So again, there's the option to do the Dante via 16 channel. We just want the stereo. So now sound is being output from here and running through Dante via. It's receiving this. And I think if I'm not mistaken, let's try playing something here. I think that may not actually, but uh, a lot of these will show receiving audio but it doesn't look like that's going to right now now one of the key things to also pay attention to as well here is um what is receiving uh audio to be um how are you going to hear it locally my biggest recommendation to avoid delays and latency and all that that can be incurred by running this type of a process is to direct monitor off of your interface but just to be sure that we're getting what we need um, I've also routed um, live is running just straight out of my UFX Fireface um, as well. 
uh, OBS so that I can hear some of that stuff coming out of my interface. Um, but these are more just, uh, and also my internal Mac sounds are coming out of this. And so this is all just telling audio where to go. The most important thing for streaming though is going to be this stereo application input. So we've run live, essentially the two bus, the main bus out, and we've run it into, uh, and then that's the next step is running it into OBS. And just for the sake of doing this, uh, in OBS you have scenes and you have sources, right? And in this source panel, if you click the plus symbol and you say audio input capture, now it's going to ask, what are we going to capture? Well, we're going to capture, this is Ableton, um, for, oops, for stream, right? Ableton for stream. So we click OK. That's what we've called this source. Now, where is it getting this from? And as you can see here, Dante via stereo. So that now shows up as if it was an actual uh, interface or sound card. Like here's my, my UFX currently. Uh, so this shows up as if it's that. So we go here, we hit OK. Now we have Ableton for stream. This is my input source. So we jump back to Ableton for a second. We hit play, go back in here, and you can already see it's loud, but it's coming in, right? So this is great. We've got Ableton coming into OBS. Um, and then what you would also want to make sure here too is that you are set up using a screen capture as well. Since I'm recording right now, I'm not going to do that. But we've got audio coming into we've got audio coming into OBS which is great now the other thing you may be wanting to do as well uh, I think like in David's case would be to have a vocal track which we do have one here but let's just put one in uh, and let's just go input 17 that's my current vocal setting I'm gonna turn my uh, monitoring in check hey hey you can hear there's a slight bit of delay because you're hearing what I hear in my headphones and you're hearing the input here, but that's okay. So we'd come in here and maybe we'd load up, uh, let's see, let's just come in and, oh, it doesn't look like I have it here, but I could pull in some sort of a preset for my voiceover if I wanted to, or if you already have your channel strip for your singing, you could pull that in as well. I'm gonna turn that off for now. But then, when you've got your voice coming in here, if you were not monitoring, through uh, your interface, like in this case, where you're hearing that slight bit of delay, uh, this sound minus the, the direct signal of my voice is what would be going to OBS. So if you look, OBS is receiving my voice too because it's a channel inside Ableton and Ableton's 2Bus is getting sent to OBS. So that's all it takes to get set up to send some streams and things like that. Again, if you wanted, you could add, come in here in your sources and you can do uh, display captures so that you can do, an, uh, you know, so that you can see the screen, but then you could also come in and do a video capture device and you could pull in your webcam if you wanted and do some overlays, lower thirds, things like that. So that's how you get this set up. It's not too hard. It's a little bit complex, but it's not too bad. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, give me a thumbs up if you would. And also I'd love for you to subscribe uh, if you haven't done so already. We're, we're learning all sorts of new things together. We're doing some live streams here, creating audio, talking about some fun stuff. Would love for you to jump in and join this community as well. So with that, I'm Glenn Thomas, and I will see you on the next one.